while we were revamping my good friend Joe from Joe's Couture, uh, we were revamping her logo. We decided to do a business card for her. This is a cool idea that it looks like people are loving it. Uh, so I thought I'd share in our community to give you ideas other than the normal one, the normal business card, using your mock-up to create a cool looking business card for your customers. So let's jump in and do this. You're going to create a design and you're going to search for business card and you're going to look for a blank business card for this one. So once you get here, you're going to add Joe's logo. So whoever's logo you're designing for, you're going to upload their logo. So we're gonna add Joe's logo and size it. And then next we're going to add text below the logo so that we have all of her social media information below here. So all you do, you press T. We are using Source Sense Pro as a font. And once you have changed your text, then you're going to change the size and make it a size eight and then highlight your text and make it bold so then you're going to add all of the social medias below the logo so i'm going to fast forward while i add all of the social media for joe's couture for all of her accounts that she has what you then do is you would align all of these text so that they are in sync the three dots or the ellipses and you're going to go to position and you're going to align it to the left and then they would be nicely aligned once you've done the alignment of your text you're going to go to elements and you're going to search for icons you search for facebook icon and then you click on graphics and then you go scroll down and find the one that you want to use so i'm going to use this black one and so resize it so that it fits the name of the facebook that's there and then you align it like that and you do exactly the same for all of the social media handles that are there so i'm gonna fast forward and add all of the social media cool once you're done adding your icons do the same positioning and aligning it so that it is um, spot on and it's aligned to the left. So the left hand side of your logo is done. What you then do, you're gonna go to elements and you're gonna go look for the rectangular shape and you will then um, size it in such a way that it fits the business card nicely like this and then you would change the color to suit whichever brand that you're working on see i have joe's couture as part of the branding and her colors are there so you can do that if you are on canva pro you can get the link below to try canva pro for 30 days and see how awesome and cool it is anyway so what we're going to do on the rectangle shape we're going to get we're going to add the address we're going to add her telephone number and we're going to add her email address and basically that's it so i'm going to add those fast forward and not bore you with that and then we're going to download it and jump into photo p Once you've added your text, you will just add your icons for the WhatsApp, the email, as well as the address. So we're gonna search for WhatsApp. And your business card is done. So once you're done with your business card and you're happy you've adjusted everything, you're gonna go to downloads and you're going to download it as a not a pdf 
as a PNG but with a transparent background. You're going to see this mock-up will pick up this nice little box that we've added on here which is quite cool but you're going to um, save it as transparent background if you don't have the transparent background because you're on free you're welcome to use the remove.bg or try canva for 30 days and let me know what you think next you're going to jump in on photo p so we're going to open the mock-up from computer i have saved all of my mock-ups that i use on a day-to-day -day basis on a link below that I've shared with you. I'm going to assign, I'm going to link it as well now so that you have access to that. So when you've opened up the, the file that I've shared with you, go look for this folder that says paper pressed P PSD mockup. And then you're going to double click on the paper pressed PSD. What then photo P does for us, it loads the mockup. We then go to the right hand side, we double click where it says placeholder, we hide the text, we click and we drag our logo that we've just designed, we size it nicely so that it is aligned and it is spot on. So you're going to size it and play around with this one until you're happy. Once you're done, you're going to go File, Save as Smart Object, and it will convert to Smart Object, and then you're going to click on Paper Pressed PSD once, so that it converts to a 3D business card. So this is what I want to show you. On the, just at the edge of this mock-up, it picks up, I think, the whoever designed the mock-up for us. It picks it up. So what you then need to do is to go open it again, place it nicely so that that ugly line is gone. Otherwise, your customer is not going to be happy with you. But other than that, size it, pull it a little bit up. You know most, we're designers. This is what we do. Fit it so that it looks perfect. Your customers are going to love you. Let me know what you think of this cool idea that I had. And thank you for joining me. You can jump in and look at the other business card that video that we've done on Canva and just let me know what you think. Thank you for joining me today. I always enjoy having you. I will see you next time.